This video demonstrates the flexibility of an electric actuator. In this particular case, we are using a Bimba OLE. Attached to it, we have a uh, smart motor from Animatics. We're going to use three different inputs to the Animatics motor, represented here by the three different buttons. The center one will home the actuator to a hard stop. Home in this case is uh, the rod fu fully retracted. Second button has a dual function. First time when we push it, it will turn the motor off so we can move the rod freely. Second time you push the button, it will record the position of the rod. And then the third button uh, is our cycle button. So the cycle button will cycle the rod uh, from the home position, which is fully retracted, to the position that was recorded uh, by the second button. So here we go. We're going to home the actuator first. Okay. Then we're going to um, hit our second button, which will turn off the motor. Now we should be able to move the rod. There we go. Let's keep moving the rod out of there. Okay. So what we can do now, we can just uh, mark the position with the marker. Let's say something like that. I guess we can see it. Let me stretch it out so it comes out of, of the shadow area, I guess. Okay. So next thing, we're going to use that same button that uh, we used previously. What it will do, it will record the position and then send the actuator back to its uh, origin. And using the third button, what we can do is we can cycle back and forth between those positions. So let's say if you want to teach it um, a different position now. We're running a different product today. So we don't need, um, we need to have a different stroke. So we're going to um, push our second input and that's going to allow us to, I'm going to change hands here real quick. I'm looking at the carpet. Up okay. here we go. That was a little bit easier to do it with both hands. I'm going to go ahead and mark our new position. Today we're running this product. So we need that much of a stroke now. So we're going to go ahead and teach it. Oh look, I marked my finger too. We're going to go ahead and teach it that position. And it's back at the zero. We're going to cycle now. And we can keep pushing this button and it will cycle from home to the position that uh, it just learned. So again, the flexibility of an electric actuator um, with three different inputs. We're teaching it a new position to run a specific product. And the next one we change product, we can teach it a new position. And uh, it will run its cycle. That's it.